Kentucky, we are going to talk about an amazing program right now. It's a chance for children and adults with intellectual disabilities to go out and compete. Special Olympics Kentucky has year-round sports training and athletic competitions for them, and they just celebrated their 50th anniversary. We're going to talk about a very, very special component of it, the state equestrian competition. Mark Berger is here. Thank you so much for being Thanks here. Thanks for having us. We appreciate it. And this really is, it might be our most unique event. Special Olympics in Kentucky offers 15 sports, and everybody knows that we have track and field and, and swimming and, and sports that pe people are familiar with. But equestrian is a program that only a handful of of states in, in the U.S. offer, um, and we're obviously one of them being in Kentucky, so it only makes sense. You know, it's funny, you just took the question I was going to say away. So many of us are familiar with all the other different sports, and the fact that there actually is an equestrian division in the horse capital of the world does, that makes perfect, perfect sense. How much participation do you get? For our, uh, for our state equestrian competition, we have about 65 riders signed up this year, which is a pretty good number for us. It's, you know, it's been a little bit more than that. It's been a little bit less than that. Um, but we have uh, 65 for this year, and we're really excited about it. And our riders come from different programs throughout the state and actually in Ohio, where they've got therapeutic riding programs. But uh, Ohio doesn't, as I mentioned, not every state offers it. Ohio doesn't, so they send some of their riders down to us as well so that they have an event to participate sure, in. Sure, that seems like a pretty big number. Yeah, it, it is, and it's you know it's sort of a niche sport uh, wherever you go, so it's it's really unique for us. But you know the the bond between our athletes and the horses that they ride is so strong, and, and, and equestrian therapy has become such a big part of you know the lives of a lot of people with intellectual disabilities and other you know and other disabilities as well. That it, it's 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 really a great opportunity for them to come and show off their skills in a in a great arena at a great event. Um, and sort of compete against their peers from other places. Absolutely. You know, it's, it's been said that the movement of a horse is the most similar to the natural movement of a human walking. So it's probably therapeutic for them as well. And maybe to be out there with an animal is even more comfortable than maybe a ball or a, a bat, something like that. And for a lot of athletes, it, it can be. For a lot of athletes, they, they may not have the physical abilities needed to be able to play softball or, or basketball or some of the other things that, that we offer. But the ability to ride a horse is there because they have balance and they, you know, they can hold themselves up. And we also have some assisted programs where even athletes who might have, need some extra help uh, can participate. And we have well. to give them credit. We all know it's not easy to stay <laughs> on a horse. Not at all. <laughs> They're out there working, working it. Well, what does it mean to have a facility like the Kentucky Horse Park here to hold your games? You know, it's been great for our for our program. This is the seventh year we've been at Alltech Arena at the Kentucky Horse Park. And one of the things that we really stress is giving our athletes an opportunity to compete in the biggest and, you know, in, in really quality facilities. And there isn't a better facility in America Not than Alltech all. Arena for equestrian events. And thank you for the uh, World Equestrian Games being out there uh, for us to have that opportunity. But it's it's a great facility, and it's neat for our athletes to participate in an arena that's as big as that one. Oh, is. no, they're out there. We're the professionals. Exactly. Compete. I mean, it doesn't get more real than that. What is the best part of watching them out there? I, I think the joy they get out of the interaction with the horse, the joy that they get out of receiving their medals at the end of the events, those are really the two best parts. And, and we encourage people to come out. It's, a, it's a, an event that's open to the public. Uh, it's going to start at 10 o'clock on Sunday, admissions free. But come out and get a look at, at what we're doing there, and, and it's, it's really an amazing day to be a part of. So real quick, Mark, what kind of events are we going to see? We do equitation, Western and English equitation. Uh, we do a working trail set up. Uh, and we also do dressage. We've had jumpers from time to wow. time. I don't think we have any this year. Um, but those are the four basic events. We also do showmanship, so uh, athletes that show the horse and, and, and go through that process as I'm well. I'm impressed because those are hard events, all of them. I mean, to have a working trail course, if anybody's ever done this, it's more of a Western thing. Right, exactly. <laughs> In Kentucky, it's, you're doing, I mean, you're opening gates, you're exactly. going over hazards. And it's, you know, it's, it's great to watch our athletes do that. And, and it's, it's a testament to people with intellectual disabilities. And I think one of the big things with our population is people are like, I didn't know that they would be capable of that. And, and you know, intellectual disabilities span such a broad range that, they are, that our athletes love opportunities to show what people with intellectual disabilities are capable of every day. What a great, great program. Thank you so Thanks much for, for bringing us. this to Kentucky. Definitely get out there and see it Sunday at Alltech Arena. Stay with us. Midday Kentucky is going to be right back.